posterior knee, we're going to pick up our two medial hamstring tendons first of all. So we'll be on the posterior thigh, medial aspect. And what we'll see here is almost like the cherry on the pudding. We'll have our semi tendinous tendon sitting up over the top of our semi membranous muscle bolt. As we follow that down, we will start to have our semi membranous form its tendon. And we can see they're continuing down. That's our semi membranous and semi tendinous tendons. Our semi membranous comes down and inserts onto our tibial plateau. It's got a direct arm which comes straight on. It's not a very nice tendon to scan because it actually has five separate arms all shooting off in different directions. So we can sometimes pick up a bit of a nice atrophy and irregularity there. That's our semi membranous coming back into short axis on that and coming back up. As we come back up, we have, we can see here our medial gastrocnemius tendon. So medial gastrocnemius and our semimembranous there sitting next to each other. And this is where we have our semimembranous gastrocnemius bursa, or this is where our baker's cysts form. So this is a common spot for us to look at. And this is where we will be doing our baker's cyst aspiration. So we can see those two tendons in close proximity to each other with our semi tendinous over the top coming down through onto the bone there. So our uh, baker cyst may extend up proximally and deep or extend down towards the calf. And occasionally when we have a, a leak of a baker cyst, we'll see a little bit of fluid and edema tracking over our medial gastrocnemius muscle into the calf. We might need to aspirate our baker cyst. So what we do is we'll find our baker cyst, move our probe around medially to give ourselves a little space. And then it's just a simple dropping almost vertically down into the baker cyst, away from any arteries and nerves. And that's our posterior knee.